Imagine using your computer and seeing this. Microsoft recommends upgrading to Windows 10. Upgrading to Windows 10 is free for an unlimited time. And then you see this icon in your taskbar that says get Windows 10. In this video, I'm going to be showing off something, which is GWX, except it is completely recoded to actually run on Windows 10. So it's pretty much just a modified GWX that, which is, you know, the Get Windows 10 app, and it actually runs on Windows 10. So it's, oh, Get Windows 10 on Windows 10. Yes, let's do that. So you guys can see there's all the files for GWX, as I showed in the System32 folder and I look around and I show a couple things from it. Now this is a real GWX that was actually modified to work on Windows 10. I have no idea what this does. I am testing it for the first time in this video and you guys will find out what happens. I ran something and then after a while I, it just popped up and then yeah so now I'm just showing around and showing some files in it. But let's get to the actual point of this video and do Upgrade Now and see what happens. So I click Upgrade Now and you can see it opens settings and it's already downloading some Windows updates here, or at least getting things ready. And it says Upgrade to Windows 10 Pro because this VM is on Windows 10 Pro. So now we're just going to wait for this to download and install and we're going to see what happens if this actually works or not. I'm honestly surprised that it's even downloading something from Windows Update because I certainly didn't expect it to do that. I have not tested this before the video. They told me just to run it and record it and see my initial reaction to it and how it works. So pretty much that's what I'm doing at the moment and that's what you guys are seeing right now because I'm also seeing this for the first time just like you guys are seeing it for the first time. And yes, the VM is on Windows 10 Pro, so it says that, but that's all it says, which is really weird. It just says upgrade to Windows 10 Pro, nothing else. So you'll see it is installing and then once it's done here, it's gonna tell us to restart to install the newest Windows. So of course we're gonna click restart now and you'll see that it's actually restarting, getting Windows ready, working on updates, 30%, and it's going to restart, hopefully. And we're going to see what happens now. So it is restarting. It looks like it's frozen, but, you know, just give it a minute. And this will boot back up, and it's showing the Windows logo, and upgrading Windows. What? This looks old. Okay, I'm just going to say this. From experience, this is definitely Windows 10 November update, which is version 1511 and it's at least that upgrading screen. I don't know if it's actually upgrading to that or if it just says that, but that is really weird because this is the screen from November update upgrading screen. So I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens because as far as I know, you cannot upgrade a new version to an old version without deleting everything. So most likely if this is actually that, it's probably reinstalling Windows is what it's doing because I didn't think that was possible. So we're gonna see what this does and we're just gonna let it do its little upgrading Windows thing and see what it looks like in the end because this is really interesting now. I have not seen this before. Oh, and it's restarting again and it's going to go back to the screen. Yep, there it goes. And it's gonna do this upgrading Windows thing and it's gonna look like the old one, not even the new working on update screen for some reason. And we'll see what this actually does, cause yeah, I'm very curious to know, even though I am doing a voiceover and I already know what happens, but pretty much you can see it's just upgrading. So hmm, what will happen? What do you guys think will happen? You can pause and leave a comment below if you want. So there it goes, it got to 75, restarting again. And there it goes and some bizarre air with my VM. And then you can see it's getting up there, so 91%. As you can see, 92%, 94, yeah, it's getting up there. So this program is really, really interesting if I have to say for sure. Most interesting thing I've used. Welcome to Windows 10. And of course I went through the setup and this is the old setup, as you can see. So, it is loading, we've updated your PC, all your files are exactly where you left them. Just, are you sure that's even an upgrade though? Because um, that VM was on something newer before. So, I, we'll see if my files are really exactly where I left them, because that's not possible. 
Let's start and excuse me, how is all my stuff still there? And this is an older version of Windows, but let's let's confirm and see. So we're gonna open Winver on this VM and we're gonna see. So as you can see, it is version 1511, which is build 10586. How in the world did that happen? It looks like the GWX thing just upgrades you to an older version. That is interesting. That means that with this custom GWX, you can trick Windows into actually upgrading to that version when normally you can't do that. So that's actually really cool. That technically means you can downgrade without reinstalling. Well, that is amazing, guys. That is amazing. So anyways, that's going to wrap up the video. But before I go, I'm going to say thanks for watching. And I do have some good news, which is the person that actually modified this GWX decided to make you guys a video guide that you guys can follow to actually get this working. So pretty much you guys can actually try this at home and you guys can get GWX working and watch a newer version of Windows 10 get downgraded to an old one without losing any files, which could be beneficial to people that actually want to downgrade to older versions without having to you know, completely reinstall. So I will have a link to their video in the description. You can subscribe if you want. I mean, without them, this video wouldn't be possible. So anyways, you know, you could just check it out below. So that'll wrap up the video. Thanks for watching. I'll try and upload videos more often and bye.